What is going on guys? It is Regular Sky here, and today we are going to be talking about one of the most oversensitive pussies and one of the most irritatable, most egotistical idiots on this entire website, Blasphemous HD. If you don't know who Blasphemous HD is, he is a YouTuber with over a million subscribers and is a YouTube reactor. You know, those cocks that actually do nothing during the video and do absolutely nothing to add anything relevant or creative or transformative to the video that they're actually reacting to. And I mean reacting in huge quotes there. Well, there's apparently news going around how Blasphemous is actually one of the more legit content creators. Meaning that he's one of the few people that actually does reaction videos right. Well, today in this video, I'm going to debunk that. So let's get right into it. What it is, BHD Army? It is your boy Blasphemous HD. He doesn't have just three channels, he also has a backup channel where he basically re-uploads videos from his main channel. This way, he can make even more money from the content that he's stealing. Don't believe me? Well, let's take a deeper look into this aspect with my good buddy reacting to the reactionist. Take it away, dude. Barack Obama, back-to-back -back reaction. Uploaded on his main channel six months ago. Now, same video, re-uploaded on his backup channel just a week ago. With the wrong link to the original, by the way. Psycho Dad shreds video games reaction. Uploaded on his main channel six months ago. Again, same video re-uploaded on his backup channel just six days ago. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, people. His backup channel is filled with hundreds of re-uploaded shit. I mean, seriously, re-uploading videos that you stole a while ago to your second channel so you can make even more money from the content that you're stealing? What are you? That Soflo Antonio? Now, I'm not sure if most people are aware, but if you aren't, that's spamming. You can't do something like that and get away with it. Now, I know that someone hasn't called out him from doing this before, but this, this is just disgusting. One of the main things I hear from BHD's fans about how he's actually a legit content creator is how he actually edits the videos so that he can actually give his viewers a reason to go and watch the original video. But it turns out that that's also a load of bull because the way he edits his videos is actually in a demeaning way in order to show off the illusion that he's actually editing the videos but really he just cuts only a few seconds off of the video and just basically ends up reacting to the whole thing. Three weeks ago he reacted to Happy Tree Friends by the seat of your pants. I compared the reaction with the original and this is what he skipped. <gasps> <laughs> so the only thing he didn't display from a two minutes and a half video were 13 fucking seconds. Wouldn't you say that's a ridiculous amount? I didn't even notice he did something to it until I compare both of them side to side. And that's not even everything. I thought it was kinda strange how he didn't put the title of the original in his own video like he usually does, so I did some research and I found out that he already had reacted to this video six months ago. But it's not a straight re-upload, he reacted to it twice, gave it a different name and uploaded them on his main channel. This is him reacting to the video six months ago and this is him reacting to the exact same thing three weeks ago pretending he hasn't watched it already apparently he just milks other youtubers content as much as he can so that he can make as much money from it without actually having to put in the effort of actually doing something transformative to the content that he's quote-unquote reacting to this is just absolutely disgusting and is really disrespectful to the original content creator I mean you can debate as much as you want but Honestly, the way I see it, Blasphemous is nothing but a fucking scumbag. Another thing I also hear from BHD fans is how he gives credit to the original content creator in the description of his videos, but again, that's also another lie. You see, while doing research for this video, I actually found more than 9 videos that had the wrong links to the original video in the links of a description. He can't even credit people correctly. Even reacting to the reaction has noticed this too. Oh, and uh, one more thing. In just 15 minutes, I found 9 videos with the wrong links to the originals. You don't even credit people correctly. Goddamn. This just also proves that none of BHD's fans actually go in the description of his videos to go see the original video, thus giving no support to the original content creator. And if someone comes to you or, you know, discusses with you about how he actually gives credit in the description of his videos, they are lying to you. 
I mean, if they can't even go into the description of his videos to realize that he got the link to the original video wrong, then how exactly are you supposed to trust them? I mean, in my opinion, I don't, and that's and it's just gonna stay that way. Another one of the main issues I have with BHD is his egotistical attitude, especially towards smaller YouTubers. Reacted to the reactionists, LT Corbis, and Power of Senegal are just some of the people who have actually dealt with this. They've called them out, and he just responds, acting like he is actually the bigger man and that he's not touchable. He's infamously known for stealing other people's content, and I don't mean in the sense of reacting to videos totally unedited, I mean in the sense that he's literally stolen other people's thumbnails for himself, and when he's called out by this by none other than Lieutenant Corbis, who's like fucking five years old, I don't know. They're gonna do crazy, six knives in a row, elemental knives, you're in real life, CSGO knives and boxing, oh my god. He jumps on the defense, saying that Corbis is nothing but a leafy clone. I actually don't know what's worse, the fact that Corbis Corbis, who's a couple decades younger than Blasphemous, is being more mature in this situation, or the fact that Blasphemous said LeMayo two times in one tweet. LOL. I know this guy wants beef with me, but I honestly think he's adorable. Good luck building your channel, man. LOL. And now it's time we put the cherry on top of this shit cake, ladies and gentlemen. So you see, a few months ago, Blasphemous channel was about to be deleted, because of the content that he steals, of course, but he dealt with it in an oh-so-respectful and mature manner. So let's see how he dealt with the situation. My reaction channel, the big one, the one with 700k, it was 720-something thousand people, it is gonna be deleted within, what, six days now? Got my last copyright strike last night. The thing that happened was uh, I uploaded a video a while ago, maybe like a month and a half, two months ago. I added more than half of the video's link to the video, but the guy did strike me for it. Uh, I forget his name. What is his name? Let me see. I'm pretty sure this is his email right here. You know, if any of you guys want to ask him if he could get in contact with me. Sandy Boy, a YouTube message, man. I'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. So let me get this straight. You react to a person's content in its entirety. That person then copyright strikes you, which he has all the right to do because you stole his content without his permission. And then you pull this scumbag dirty move of displaying his information so thousands of your ignorant fans can go and spam the hell out of the guy so that he will basically be forced to respond to you. You know, a lot of people actually like to give you a path because you like to play the nice guy. But no, in my opinion, you are actually one of the worst, most disrespectful, most unlikable scumbags that I've seen on this website yet. But honestly, that goes for every reactor out there. Except for H3H3 H3 Productions and Chatronic, of course, but then again, you don't have to see it from my perspective. <sighs> but anyways, if you guys like this video, hopefully you'll like and subscribe. Uh, honestly, I, I'm going to be fully prepared for all of the hate that I'm going to receive from Blasphemous fans. Because, you know, I actually made a video basically calling him out. But, I'm prepared. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And take care.